Okay, so I'm looking at merit and excellence graphs. So you need to do the comparing thing, and you need to do the total ice thing, and predictions for total ice, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to have a bit of a fiddle with the um, lovely insight, which is great. So how did I get total ice? What I did is I went manipulate variables, and I went, con I didn't do that. No, I created a new variable. And so here, I could go, just because I can, and tuck. I have to spell correctly, which is quite challenging for me. In my olden days, I was a computer programmer, and I um, just had to double check my spelling, because really, computers can't interpret. So I'm gonna just call this difference, right? Difference, um, ice, just because I can. Okay, and the new variable, difference ice, will be inserted. Oh, great, great. So now I'm going to go advanced time series, and now I've got these four. Use control for multiple selection. So I'm going to go there, I'm going to push control, click, click, click. So cool. Compare series. Right. It's interesting that the different ice, difference between the ice is actually a sine wave. I wonder why that is. And that's the sort of um, questions that you've got to ask. Because this looks very much like that. It's like that had no effect. This goes up to 6. It goes up to 10. One minus the other. Oh, too much for my brain at the moment. You can see that this assessment is about thinking what these graphs mean, not about making the graphs. Making the graphs is, you know, you can, any child can do that. My four-year-old um, grandchild probably can. So, yeah, brilliant. Just double-checking compared to the exemplar. So... That looks all good. I've got how to do those graphs. And so now it's there except for actual predictions and things. Like you can see it's quite a lot of writing. Um, that I think we can do, the prediction. Let's make sure it's Holt Winters prediction. Uh, seasonal effects we can do and decomposition with the residuals we can do. So we'll just double check if we get back into it. Um, and back into the time series one. So we go advanced, we go time series. And let's click on that, and that, and that. And compare those series. That's all fine. And we need to do the, I'll just get out of that. If I was to grab the difference in the ice, I can go seasonal effect. Nice. If I grab the total ice, I can go seasonal effect. I can push predict. So you seem to predict one variable at a time. Oh, and it comes up Holt Winters anyway. Okay? And there's your values, and these values these predictions, you can just control C them and control V them into um, your Word document. And these, I wonder if we copy as bitmap and we go into a Word document and we control V. It's just there. So, no problems, guys. We're good to go.